His, his uh, strategy for gaining control of the world is to provide a license for everybody to basically be alive. Uh, we call it the mark of the beast, but basically this license was set up to control the economy of the world and, and the, way, the way you qualified to be a, able to eat and sell and buy and all of that was to worship the beast. Theory two, the alien deception theory. There is also a theory that a satanic deception will occur in the last days where the Antichrist will present himself as an alien from another planet. Author Joel Richardson has written several books on how Islamic beliefs relate to biblical prophecy, and his research suggests that the Mahdi of the Muslims and the Antichrist spoken of in the Bible are the same person. Be clear, they will call the Antichrist Jesus, or that he is the second coming of Jesus. I mean, ask yourself, do you think that they're going to call the Antichrist the Antichrist? that those who actually follow him and believe in his solutions are going to call him the Antichrist or the beast? Absolutely not. Antichrist will be a real man that will emerge on the scene, but this real man will be a charismatic individual. I, I imagine he'll be a good looking guy, probably wearing a well-tailored suit. Think the devil wears Prada. He'll be energized by the devil himself. In fact, he'll come with overtures of peace but as it turns out, he won't be a peacemaker, he'll be a troublemaker. I've heard it so much because every time, you know, there's a Republican candidate, people say, oh, it's the end of democracy, you know, uh, you know, uh, he's the, people say, go so far and say, oh, he's the Antichrist. Like, but this is one of those times where, you know, it really actually positively is true. At some point in time, this Antichrist figure is going to come on the scene and make a treaty, the Bible says, with Israel. And that's going to trigger this seven-year period of time 